Heather died in 1947, and in those last months of her life, she wrote several long letters to friends and family and to her first biographer, E.K. Brown. Life stretches out as being rather long when one stops to remember all the fine people one has known and admired in this country and abroad. I used to spend a good deal of time in London. I remember how William Archer and I sat in Lady Gregory's box on the night that the Abbey players made their debut in London. They played The Rising of the Moon for the curtain raiser, and then The Playboy. It was a puzzled audience, and I was puzzled. When we went afterward for some supper, Archer asked me what I thought of the performance. I said I thought it was interesting, but not very dramatic. Mr. Archer said very gently, to me, anything that is interesting in the theater belongs there and is dramatic. We learn a great deal from great people. The mere information doesn't matter much, but they somehow strike out the foolish platitudes that we have been taught to respect devoutly and give us courage to be honest and free, free to rely on what we really feel and really love, and that only. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Archives, I'm Andy Jewell.